Somewhere between the edge of being alive and feeling dead Let's go to Fitzwilliam. Let's go. Welcome back to the channel. As you see here, we are cutting a tree on route to Mount Fitzwilliam in Mount Robson Park. It's about a three and a half hour drive from Prince George to the east, about 54 kilometers east from the Mount Robson Visitor Center. Really nice trail. Uh, you park on the north end of the highway uh, right at Yellowhead Lake and there's a little uh, sort of kiosk thing there with uh, some signs and some bathrooms and whatnot and you park there and you go on the south side of Highway 16. You'll see a little uh, trail start there with a little sign that says Mount Fitzwilliam Trail and you follow that and eventually I think about 500 meters into the trail just as it's about to start climbing there is a kiosk there and they do ask that you sign in there so that they know who's in the backcountry. Anyways, uh, about seven kilometers up this trail there is a campsite at Rockingham Creek. Uh, I counted about five uh, tent pads there. Uh, there's a fire pit, there's some firewood, there's a bathroom, uh, like one of those green pit toilets not covered. Um, anyways, uh, really nice area there and uh, then you, if you want to go further we did the full day hike all the way up to the lake, so we cross over the bridge and went uh, about 13 and a half kilometers one way all the way up to the lake, which uh, there there's about six tent pads um, where you can camp, but there are no fires allowed up at the Alpine Lake, probably because they don't want people cutting trees. There's not very many around. Um, so anyway, beautiful spot up top. We did the full day hike, 27 kilometer round trip. Hope you guys enjoy the video and let's check it out. Well, we're here at the trailhead, well, parking area for Mount Fitzwilliam. Adventure dogs are running around. New area for her. We don't know how far we're going to get today because there is a bunch of snow up there. And as in all the mountains around here, it's come real early this year. So I think uh, TNT Adventures will be donning the snowshoes pretty soon but we don't have them for this trip so we may have to turn back sooner than later but we'll see come here doggy come here stay you can see the snow up in the mountains here's a trail it all right this is where we up here head up and uh, just out of curiosity, what is this other thing down here? I believe this may be a trapper's trail here. Here's the kiosk. We'll sign in. And up we go the switchbacks. Get a view of this to show the slope and the sunlight. Pretty beautiful. Zigzagging up. Come on, doggy. Starting to get views of Yellowhead Lake. Another bridge crossing. Looks like we got another little bridge. Pretty mucky. I think BC Parks put in this bridge a few days ago, according to the sign in sheet. Little creek over there. And he's going to get a drink. All right, let's see how this DJI camera handles it. We're gonna dunk into that creek real quick. Waterproof test coming up. There's 
Fitzwilliam straight ahead making our way towards that mountain a few more dead yeah oh yeah as and then you can see the level yeah there goes a rabbit but I did not get it on it was running down the trail I just ride with my car. it literally ran through my feet Ran over mine. Ra tripped almost chicken. tripped me and just gone. Making our way up the trail. Getting close to Rottingham Creek campsite. We look to be at the Rockingham Creek campsite. Pit toilet over here. Used to be over. Typical green pit toilet. Bring your own toilet paper. With a semi view of Fitzwilliam right from the toilet. Maybe that's why they put it there. Do you have firewood? Lots of pads. One, two down there, three over here. Four over there. So one, two, three, four, right there. And let's take a look at the picnic area. A little picnic table and a fire pit and a bench right there. Probably, I don't know, splitting wood or another tent pad, I guess, could be there. All right, and here's your bear cache right here. There's Fitzwilliam right there, folks. And here's Rottingham Creek. And the bridge is right down there. We'll be crossing that soon. Hazardous area ahead. Travel with caution. Supervised children. One person on the bridge at a time. Come on, doggy, let's go. in here. Nice and green and mossy. Fitzwilliam's like right there. We probably half a kilometer past Rottingham Creek. Our first view of a little bit of sprinkling of snow. Right there. Mostly melted. Good doggy. Looks like Mr. Bear. What do you think, Penny? Okay, it looks like we're just starting to pop out a bit into some open meadow up here. Yes, sir. Starting to see it. Pretty beautiful views over there. Pop the camera off the clip because I can easily. All right, just starting into that sort of transition into a bit more snow.
sure enough, here come the boulders. Makes sense. Getting right to the foot of the climb up to the lake. Do it. Gerald, just let me know. He makes it sound easy, but I don't know. We'll see. It's a little bit wet and snowy to show the temperature. Five degrees Celsius here. Time for me to geek out. It's kind of windy and cold. I'm going to ditch the. Some of you know this channel. Bought some of their merch. This is the part where we over hop. People have put up cairns to show, them, generally speaking, the way through. And we just made our way through. Can hear water running under the rocks here. And there's a marker. Crossing a little bridge here. Obviously the creek's all dried up right now. Some kind of cliffs there. In case you thought you're off trail, there's a marker. Just follow the boulder field up with the gully and you'll hit it up here. I mean, I guess we can go up here, but there's a cairn saying to go up here. like the trail markers right there so again just keep coming up and eventually hug right to the cliffs and you will meet the trail not, not really too big of a deal Ooh, that's a pretty tight Sunshine over there. You see a little gully flowing from the lake there. Pushing our way through rocks and snow. Gotta watch it. Because it is slippery here. Just to show how fast those clouds are moving. This is a 
the first video with the DJI Osmo Action 5 Pro. Let me know in the comments how this compares to the GoPro Hero 10. Just curious. A little bit of snow, but nothing big. All right, Gerald says this way, to the lake. That is the way we shall go. Well, we must be getting close because I see a campsite. Bear cash. And a big, big Karen right there. some tent pads. One, two, three. Yeah, it's super windy up here. Big chunk of wood. Just get a few pictures down by the lake. Pad number one, right here. Two, three, and then in here, there's a trail. This is tent pad number four, and five. And six. Right there. Six tent pads in all. And there she be. Nope. Not this time of year. Saying a final, fa final farewell to Fitzwilliam and Penny's getting her final drink from the lake. Beautiful up here. I'm sure the coloring would be much better in the summer or later in the fall. Trees haven't quite changed color up here yet. Making our way back out. Pretty decent day overall, I'd have to say. Who wants a snowball? Hit right on the butt. There she goes. Now on the slippery, snowy rocks, or at least slippery in between. Whoa! Oh. Yeah, you gotta watch it. Come on, doggy. 
go again. Woohoo! Right, we're back to this point with the trail marker sign. As soon as we dip below here, most of this wind will be gone. Just a little bit right now, but there's quite a bit more when we're at the lake. There comes Gerald. Heading down into this area where we get to see the creek. Pretty nice views. right in here and follows the cliff. Making our way down. Really big boulders here. Just maybe a wise word Gerald pointed out before. If you're going up, you might want to eat your lunch down here because this is the last section of uh, trail where you're out of the wind and I mean it's beautiful even if it's sunny and hot out you just sit here in these stonehenge rocks or whatever eat your meal and you're good to go I found us a chicken and she's pointing up the tree there somewhere right there mr. chicken see him hey, chick -pick, chick -pick. hey chickadee low light super night mode get in this little crevice cave thing here and see what do we have going on in there oh, it goes way in there didn't have my pack on it was a good 10 feet in there. Oh. Yeah. Creek. Going down. And the rocks. Up here on the left. We heard some crashing coming down from the rocks. I don't know if there's a goat up there or what. Stick to the side here. Well, pretty soon we'll be out of the rocks. Back into the forest. Just at the very tail end here. Been a nice day. Well, and that's a goodbye to the rocks. We are back in the forest for the rest of the way. Yeah. Dark mountain, bright sun, kind of nice contrast. We're getting a bit close to that campsite here in just a bit. That sun's really bouncing off Fitzwilliam quite nicely. Well, we're back at Rottingham Creek campsite, halfway back. Come on. There's some people over there. Come on, doggy. Hello. I like them. We'll, we'll check them out tomorrow, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Got a little witty woodpecker hole there. See if I can fit my finger in there. Hope nothing bites it. 
We are getting close to the trailhead because I hear traffic from Highway 16. Yeah, probably pretty close to 6 p.m. right now. Making our way. You can see Yellowhead Lake through the trees there, which means we are very close to that trailhead. Beautiful yellows and oranges, mostly yellows. Beautiful colors. Yellow, like really yellows. Beautiful colors. Yellow head. There you go. Right here. And a couple Zane and Danielle from Alberta. Beautiful colors. And just about at our crossing point. Just about to cross the Yellowhead Highway. We are good to go. Come on, dog. Good girl. There we go. Back to the vehicle. That's probably the couple from Alberta. Alberta plates, yep. Through 